Damien Rice, Volcano, uh, from his first album, 2002. Uh, oh, it is a uh, really interesting song, some pretty easy chords, but great percussive strumming that happens in this. Now, I put together a lesson for this on this at Totally Guitars, again, as part of the Target program there, and but the technique is something you can start working on without even tracking down the lesson, and that is muting the bass notes. If you just play a normal A minor chord, the chords are basically A minor and F in the beginning, but he plays them both as bar, partial bar chords, and then uses his thumb to play the bass notes too. So if um, most of his songs, you got to use your thumb to play bass notes in to get the exact right sound, but we talk in the lesson we talk about alternate ways of doing that to get close to the right sound. But um, in any case, really important technique is palm muting and that is I'm hitting the bass notes right now I'm hitting the fifth string and instead of just hitting it clean and open twice it would sound like that what I'm doing is coming in and using the base of my hand to touch the string right at the saddle to muffle it that's the whole idea behind palm muting is to get a little bit more percussive sound and, and a quicker decay on the note because it doesn't get hit quite as hard so you practice that, and if you just practice it with an A minor chord and an F chord, you can play the F as a bar, you can play it as a without the bar, using your thumb to play the sixth string, or don't even worry about the sixth string, and just play the C in the bass. Listen to what that would sound like. Bass, bass, down, down, up, is a pattern of eighth notes, three eighth notes and a pair of sixteenths. So I'm hitting the bass note twice, then strumming really just the middle strings. You don't want to hear this. Clean strumming in there. You want to hear it, just the middle notes, and again, muffled with the bass of your hand. Bass, bass, down, down, up. Two of those would be one measure. And what I just did there was two measures before it goes to F. And there's the same sound on the F chord. Now, if you play the F with your thumb, the advantage to doing it with your thumb wrapped around the sixth string is it lets you do a hammer-on on the A from G to A, the note on the second, second fret of the G string, third string. So that hammer-on is an important little um, embellishment that he uses on the F chord. He does this in a lot of his, on, well, pretty much every time he plays that F chord, which he uses in a lot of songs, and the A minor same type of thing, you can play the A minor chord up the neck, a part of four string bar across the fifth fret, and then hammer on the seventh fret of the fourth string from the fifth fret. Now in live versions, he sometimes hammers on a couple notes there, and messes around with both of those. So anyway, get started with that. If you want to see if the rest of the lesson, is, or the whole lesson, is actually up at Totally Guitars, we also have a lot of free lessons here at YouTube at our TG Free Lessons channel and attachments to those are at our site so um, all the free lessons are available of course at Totally Guitars as well but the lesson on Damien Rice's Volcano is up now at Totally Guitars